Good morning guys. So today Eric and I are up early. We want to tackle our garage. It is like it looks really full but it has like patches where it doesn't really have anything. It's also just been thrown in there. So it has zero organization and we want to pull it all out and sort of put it back in because when we moved we just sort of throw it in there literally. And since then we've been getting stuff out of it and pushing everything around and it just looks terrible now we can't really find anything so <clears throat> I also want to make like a garbage pile or the garbage is sort of it's not actual garbage it's stuff we just need to get rid of like there's a broken cabinet in there actually I think we got rid of the broken cabinet anyway um yeah and stuff like that or old toys that I throw in there that are too big for the garbage bin <clears throat> we want to sort that all out and have like a big recycling pile garbage pile and just sort everything out so and see if we want to sell anything um i know i don't want to sell the pram i got for olivia i pretty much hate it i think i've used it three times actually um and i actually have to order a new pram but anyway um that is what we're doing today eric has just said that he's going to have breakfast i have no milk because all the lactose free milk is um not available so um and I don't like soy and almond milk in cereal, so I will just, I don't know, and we're out of bread, because bread's also hard to get. Anyway, so yes, so I will go and start getting organised. So here is our schmozzled mess. So we got like a couple of prams, camping gear, this stuff. I don't think we need this stuff. These are on the wall in our other house, these things. And then it's just all, that's the trailer stuff. And then this is all recycling because we have a recycling getting rid of issue. And then all their bikes, but then if you go look back there, it's empty. So we need to um, sort it out. I can already see stuff that we don't need. So we've emptied most of the stuff out. Some of it doesn't need to come out. So we've got all hand-me-down clothes over here. That corner needs sorting, but we're not going to do it today because it's neat. And we're a little bit worried about the weather. Then we've got our old stove, our dishwasher, and a filing cabinet, which we don't even use, so I'll probably sort that out later. And that's mostly camping stuff. At the back there, that's an old bunk bed. And then this corner does need sorting. And then we've got recycling. Rubbish is behind it. And then this is to go back into these two things. Into the garage. And then we're just slowly going through that. There is a baseball bat over there somewhere. And then this is cell pile over there. So we've got all our stuff sort of packed in here. Got some cell stuff and a garbage bag, and then our massive pile of boxes we need to go through. It's getting really hot, so we've stacked it all back. And we've got furniture lining the and our lunch, and then all the camping gear bikes are here. And then all the stuff that we need to get rid of in a skip is stuck down there because we haven't been able to get a skip yet. And then we've just got this. And then all the cell stuff to deal with. I just got a delivery from Adairs and Snuggle Honey, I think the company's name is. So put them away for Little Miss. We had one of these for um, Olivia and she loved it. But it didn't have the option to unzip and clean it. So it got really gross because she was a chuggy baby. We tried to keep putting blankets and stuff over it but you know nothing like a good wash in a washing machine good morning everyone so today we are just cleaning we actually want to go look at a house a bit later on um because eric is home um and that sort of thing i will explain a bit more later when we go to the house if we actually get there um, so we only really have to clean the three showers. My vacuum keeps dying and it's driving me crazy. Um, and yeah, it drives me crazy when I 
go to vacuum I usually clean like all the floors and stuff and then it only lasts for like two rooms maybe a third and um yes um I told Eric we really need to get a vacuum that plugs into the wall because it's driving me bonkers I want to just vacuum the house anyway um yes and then I need to tidy up like these sort of things which are like decorative things that I've got in tubs I just don't know what to do with them um anyway um because these walls aren't taking the 3m strips very well like we had some in the stairwell and i took them off yesterday and they like just broke off from the wall so i'm not sure what's going on with the paint um and all that but anyway i'll have to look into that later because i don't want to add more to the wall and then damage the wall when we move um, we don't actually have that many of our pictures up, um, so I might have to just display them better. Anyway, I need to pay some bills and stuff this morning um, and get on with our day. It's actually a really lovely day, but we're hibernating because we don't want to get the virus. Um, and there was a lot of it around us. Um, we had nearly everyone we knew was in isolation and we were the only ones left. They're all out now. Um, but yeah, we don't want to get it at this stage, especially with 12 days until the kids go back. But yes, let's get on with our day. So we're at the house that I was talking about earlier. We're upstairs at the back. So we've got two bedrooms at the back. So this is the huge bedroom. Then we got the second biggest kitty bedroom in here, which has a walk-in cupboard as well, just around there a bathroom comes in handy and then this area we'd actually make into two more bedrooms so there'd just be a wall down the middle a linen cupboard another bedroom with walk-in robe and then there's another bedroom with walk-in robe another walk-in linen closet which is bigger than the last one so there stairs and then this is another lounge room which would be a lounge room or a toy room and then this is our room with the bathroom and stuff so down here we have a study or another living room you really don't like that step do you no, it's not me. It's Cooper's the one that fell on it. It doesn't bother me. And then we have another walk-in linen. They really like their walk-in linens in this house. I don't know who owns this much linen though. Um, and then laundry. We wouldn't have the fancy cabinets though. And then there's another oh, master over here or guest room, which is, so this is the powder room as well. In here which we like for when we get old and don't want to go upstairs that's the garage and then we've got another huge walk-in linen here which would most likely be our food storage and then we have another linen over here in case you were you know lost for linen space and then we've got a long hallway so this room will be a bedroom as well in our plan because we think this is supposed to be a theater it's just too small so we were going to pick the option to make it a bedroom and then we got the really nice kitchen i love the colors in here and then this would change quite a bit so i would we're going to take out these nib walls because we want to put all our freezers in here and fridges, like our extra fridge. Um, so they're neat and tidy away. And then we would have um, maybe another stove in here and definitely another dishwasher. And that sort of thing in here, we haven't actually decided on that. And then we have our dining lounge area over here and 
It is really windy today. So I am almost done for doing the house inspection well, except for the stuff that I still need to find a home for. That's my handbag, so it has a home. Um, and then, yes, and then um, a few things in the morning, like a vacuum has still keeps running out of battery, and I still have yet to vacuum the whole house. I still have the toy room to go. And I think the big girls' room. I don't know if they vacuumed it. Anyway, so I need to do that in the morning because, or I might do it late tonight. But um, anyway, um, I know a few of you will be confused on the house because we've been talking about going overseas. In our process, uh, moving overseas. In our process to move overseas, we've been sort of um, deciding which way to go. Um, our biggest thing with staying in Australia is. Um, we can't buy a house or haven't been able to buy a house now because we haven't had a deposit or anything we've had a large deposit um on several occasions and we still can't get it due to the really strict banking laws here um and that sort of thing so we have been tossing up between moving overseas where um we can get residency pretty easy and we can buy a house pretty much cash um, and that sort of thing um, and there's other things in it as well I don't want to get into too much but um, yes so in our thinking we have Caitlin in year 11 um, this year so in Australia year 11 and 12 are quite important um, so we are going to try and save as much as we can um, this year as well as paying pretty high private school fees this year because um, our kids, as they get older, cost more in school. Um, our kids go to a private private school, not an independent school, more than a private private school, not a Catholic school. I know if you've um, just said they would go to a Catholic school, but they don't. They go to an independent school. Um, we have no fee reduction. Oh, we don't qualify for any and um, that sort of thing um, anyway so in saying that if we can't get a loan showing the banks over this year that we've saved again um, then we more than likely would pursue the moving overseas during next year early next year and that sort of thing it'd be very tight to move this year anyway um, so we could move and just set Caitlin up here to um, either live with someone for the last six months or nine months, I think it would be, of schooling. Um, and then she could join us or, you know, she's 18, whatever she wants. I actually think she's planning on travelling when she finishes school. Um, so anyway, um, and then so that would be hard, but then the baby's due April. It's taking around... 10 weeks to get a birth certificate at the moment um, and then it's another six weeks to get a passport um, sort of once you apply for it so we're looking at like let's say 18 weeks from the baby being born um, and we're moving to the northern hemisphere so we have to be in before winter apparently um, and um, because it's not great to move during winter um, and we wouldn't want to do it because a lot of the houses we've been looking at are fixer-uppers and moving in in winter could be, you know, not the best idea. Um, so there is sort of a summary of what we're doing. Um, we did mention it because it is something we are pursuing. We are pursuing the residency, we think, still because we think it would be good for the kids to have dual citizenship anyway. Um, during our process as well, the residency applications have dramatically increased in waiting time so they were I think max eight months and now they're max 23 months so um, we can go there and apply there but um, we don't get free medical and stuff straight away we wouldn't get it anyway we'd have to wait two months I think it is but we wouldn't get it after that so um, so we'd have to pay for travel insurance the whole time and it was just quite complicated. The kid couldn't attend school, um, which is, you know, really important. Um, 
and that sort of thing so that is our plan I've actually spent a lot of time while I haven't been vlogging much making a 10 year plan majority of it is staying here but there is um, sort of a section which I've put aside that if we were to move overseas um, sort of the logistics financial part of that as well so um, yes so that is kind of our plan at the moment it could change as we've all learnt over the last two years um, it could change next week very fast um, we still haven't heard whether our kids are going back to school like eh, it's driving me nuts um, well we assume they're going back but um, a lot of parents and teachers don't want to send the kids back but then there's a lot of parents that do and it's like this war against who wins so um, I honestly think they should have an option to either keep them home or send them to school but anyway I know Tyler has that option I believe so um, because he's low immune but yes so that is the house that we would build if we were to get a home loan um, so at the moment there's actually no land for sale there's a few blocks but they don't fit that house it's too long um, anyway and um, and they're not in the area that all the estates that we really want to be in or they're really expensive like more than what we want to pay for the whole house so um, yeah so it will be a long process um, I'm not sure I've never talked to Eric about sharing our 10-year plan it is very um, sort of detailed um, I have because we do have some debt at the moment because Eric works on commission over the last two years he's basically not worked his main job but he has worked his main job but um, uh, the housing sales slowed down because he does um, so he doesn't really do first home buyers which is a lot of people brought last year or the majority did and he does custom build houses so um, like generally you don't buy them off the plan the company we're going through we would buy off the plan but um, add um, options to change rooms so yes and the builder has agreed to change that area up the stairs to two bedrooms but if they can't do it well they think they can but if they can't do it it's no real big deal um, to put two walls in and two doors in and a couple of wardrobes like we could pay someone after but um so yes so that's a house we both really like and it fits on like the cheap blocks here so we will see how we go um we have um i do want to do an emergency savings fund again we obviously we didn't obviously we spent it during um our lockdown last year and then we were like oh, we don't really need it because we always have money in the bank for three to six months from today so our budget has to be in the green but I feel like I still need um, an emergency budget so and it's also if we would have to move from this house it's bond and rent for a new house so but we would have that anyway I still want it um, so that is my first step on that sort of thing and then we'll move on to there um, obviously we've got to pay off our school bill which is a rather large school bill by the end of the year but I might do a video about that separately but yes but that is all for today guys we have pretty much spent the whole day cleaning which is rather boring to watch especially since my videos before the two baby videos were all cleaning ones so um, that is it for today guys like subscribe and comment below bye